Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion, and I am so excited about this one. And there is a story behind it as well. But, if you think you can guess who this champion is going to be, and I'll tell you this much, I hadn't decided on who this was going to be until Sunday morning, just before the Level Up event. So if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, leave a comment below and let me know who your guess is. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. No. Now, before I take Null up, I've got a story I want to tell you guys about this. So, first of all, if you haven't watched my video yesterday, uh, I am in a new alliance now. And, of course, AQ started and I have new paths. I'm taking path seven, which is that diss track and uh, some other stuff, right? And for the first time, I was like, oh, I used items. But of course, that's not unusual. I'm getting used to the path and I'm still trying to figure out who to use. Now, I brought in Cosmic Ghost Rider and he did well. And I also brought in Apocalypse. But I kept messing up um, with the Unstoppable and all that other stuff. OK, just uh, getting used to the uh, path. So I decided. I needed to, you know, find out who are people using for this path, okay? And before I did that, I was asked to take a screenshot of my roster. You guys are familiar with that, so they can do Alliance War defense. And when I did that, I noticed something. I noticed that there was an upgrade arrow on some of my champions, and I thought. Those were my one and rank two champions, but they weren't. They were my rank three. And I did not notice that until Sunday morning. And I went, why do I have a... And I went to look and I actually had enough from doing the Karina challenges and, and all of that to take another champion to rank four. If you guys watched it, I don't believe I even mentioned it because I didn't realize it. So not only can I take a rank four, but now I'm thinking of who I need for the path. So I go to YouTube. Let me uh, show you what I did. All right, so you can see I did a search. MCLC best champs for map eight disc track. Look at the first video. See who that is? No, I said, whoa, no. I said, oh, yeah, that's right. Null would be perfect for it. And since I tend to run the Ouchie Masteries, we're trying to be nice to YouTube. Um, since I run the Ouchie Masteries, that's perfect. He's very sustainable with them. So I'm like, oh, yes. Now, I was looking over this, and I want you to see here the third video. I watched this video. I gave him a like and everything. You see, it's a year old. He's using a five-star null to smash through map eight. And I watched him, and he rocked the path, okay? And I'm like, okay, if the five-star null can do that, that six-star null is going to kill it, right? But I've never taken him in there yet. Have not. But we're going to do that at the end of this um, rank up. OK, but I just wanted to show you guys the progression of what happened. You know, I saw that I could rank somebody up. Let's go back here and let's start ranking him up. Um, but, yeah, I saw that I could rank somebody up to rank four. And I was looking to see who should I do. And I've been waiting. Waiting for an excuse to take this guy up. And I finally have it. Here we go. Welcome, Null, the baddest looking MCOC champion. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. 
Oh, man. This is... I'm loving this. And I'm going to show you guys... Um, uh, before we get right back to it, I'm going to show you what I uh, just did because it's actually pretty cool um, to get all this ISO. I decided to open up some Grandmaster Crystals, 200 of them to be precise. And I just want to show you the results. I mean, look at the five stars that I got out of 200 of those Grandmaster Crystals. And look how many four stars. Just look at the ISO. This is why I don't have ISO problems. Uh, but I decided to open these up so that I wouldn't have to use off-class ISO to rank up my champions because I'm going to be ranking up a few. Um, but I still have over a million shards of Grandmaster Crystals. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, back to ranking him up or leveling him up anyway. Um, after we take him up, uh, instead of going into Realm of Legends and fighting Winter Soldier like we did already when we took him to rank three, we're going to just go into um, AQ. I'm late getting in there because I was waiting for the last uh, objective to see if maybe it might be um, a cosmic advancement. There was no advancement. Um, and I do have some other uh, rank ups that I need to do. But this one, I'm very happy. Now, as in terms of aesthetics, Null is my favorite. And the reason, and if you look up at my um, profile, you can see that I've chosen Null for my profile picture. He is the baddest looking. He is my avatar. Before he came out in the contest, before I knew anything about Null, the characters for Lord Shadow looked like that. And you can look back and see, even before he came out, I had avatars made where I had the sword, where I had where I was sitting on a throne. You know, he looks like a shadow lord okay so when i saw him i was like oh that I, I gotta have him i gotta have him and if they wanted to get me to spend some units let them come out with a profile picture that's actually nice and fancy and is null they didn't do that they they don't have any null profile pictures so that's why i had to use um, just the regular uh, profile picture for Null. And the only way that he would honestly be up there is, you know, if I took him to rank five, uh, which I, I wouldn't do. Um, as awesome as he is, though, uh, I wouldn't do that. So, oh, man. I, I, I was so, so happy when I saw that video because I had forgotten all about Null and how well he does dish track. I had ranked him up, you know, just for, I guess, role-playing purposes, you could say. But, and, and then didn't really use him. But now, he's getting used. He is definitely getting used. Now, um, let me show you guys his uh, signature ability. All right. Now, his signature ability is very useful, but he doesn't need to be awakened. I can awaken him, but for the purposes I'm going to be using him for in the Alliance quest, all it means is that I won't be able to do damage right off. I'll have to do a heavy attack first, you know, and then I'll be able to start doing damage. That's it. You know, if I had him awakened, then, yeah, he'll start with something. And I think he, he doesn't even need a high sig at all. Um, but like I said, I could awaken him, uh, put sig stones into him and all that good stuff. And I might do that. If I find that um, 
it'll make my life even easier. I may do that. And I do have a five star no maxed out that if I want to, I could bring in and test out. But um, I just I, I, I was waiting for an excuse to take my six star null to rank four. Just waiting. And uh, I will I will awaken him at some point and time and put some six stones into him. Maybe I'll wait until there's a cosmic advancement. And then I'll awaken him and, and dump six stones into him. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, let's get into Alliance Quest and actually use him for the first time on Path 7. All right, here's the team I'm going in with. This is the first time I'm bringing Null and uh, Venom in. And we're going to see. We're going to see how they do. All right, let's head in. And what I'm going to do, and there may be some others that I might choose later, but the one that I choose the most often is Broken Measures. All right. And as you can see, he's already, oh, he's already done all of that. I was going to um, help him clear some. All right. Well, first, let me clear this. And then we will use Null for the rest of the uh, path there. All right, so don't worry about the Dawn of Protection that rotates. Stellar Genetics. So all attackers, except class of Cosmic and Mutant, have their attack reduced by 50%, okay? Uh, defenders under the effect of Unstoppable come stum immune, okay. Dish track, they take 100% less damage while they have less than three debuffs. So um, I know that we were talking about Hercules at one point in time. Can he do this one? I don't know. He would definitely not be who I would choose for this path. Okay. And then we've got that one there. All right. So I'm going to start. And let's see, because I've never done this. I've seen it done. I've never done it. Okay. Whoops. Ah, yeah, see? This is what I have to remember. Where's my parries? Hmm. Okay. Still getting used to this. But once we have all those on there, we really just need to fire off the special ones. Okay, we got that corruption on him. Once we have that corruption on him, that's when the damage really starts ramping up, as you can see. But I have to keep track of that unstoppable, which I wasn't doing before. I don't understand. My parries are not working. I was not, I, I got wrecked, but my parries were not working. Let's let's revive him, but I'm kind of um I'm not sure what's going on right now. Um Yeah, I have a few of these. Let's just use them. Um But yeah, I'm just it's not parrying. And I'm just getting hit. I can see where he is just really good for this, but then I just wasn't getting my parries in. But let's 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 reset. Let's um continue on. Maybe it's just the um maybe it's just uh Ronin. I don't know. Alright, but it, it's a very straightforward and simple fight. 
Do that. You know, just just some heavy attacks. Watch for the um Yeah, see now my heavy my uh parries are working. I did not. I'm going to really have problems with that unstoppable. Because I went in and uh, <laughs> he still had the unstoppable up and I thought it was down. Come on. Come on. Okay, no unstoppable there. Good. Yeah, just look at the damage. Look at this damage that he's doing. Okay, we got the nice uh, uh, heavy off there and parry. But that damage is just crazy. I just have to get used to the fight. But man, I can already see Null is gonna be crazy for this. Yeah, I can already see Null is gonna be crazy for this. I'm getting I'm getting used to it. It's the first time I'm doing this, so had a little bump in the beginning. But let's keep going. Okay, so we do our nice little heavy attacks and just like that, we can get our damage in. Yeah, see that that unstoppable is going to really bugged me oh my goodness okay do that okay nope a lot of watching there we go watching that uh unstoppable timer that's what i will have to get used to and the fact that he's, um, okay, I was watching. <laughs> I was watching the unstoppable timer too much that time. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's mainly me trying to watch that stop unstoppable timer. But once I get used to it, we'll be all right. Now, this fight right here, let me, let me try to concentrate. I expect to die. But let me try to concentrate. This is probably the worst uh, fight. push him to that special two while he had the unstoppable. Get him to fire it off. He doesn't want to do it. Just wants to fire heavy attack. Let's just go for it. All right. Woo. That fight is probably the worst and this is only day two. Oh my goodness but like i said i'm getting used to it i'm getting used to it all right let's uh 
me see. I don't think I ended up doing this one the last time. So. Yeah. We'll stay there. All right. That is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. I'm thinking that once I get used to it and, and familiar with the fights and everything, Null is going to wreck. All right. Take care. And you all. Have a blessed day.